Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. All praises to the Most High. So, the Most High wants me to explain to you that people who steal, anyone who suffers their self as a thief, they're cursed already. And although they repent, if they still have that whatever soever they stole with them, his presence is turned from them because it's an accursed thing. Anything that you steal is an accursed thing. And he wants me to go through these scriptures and also a story in the Old Testament where the children of Israel stole and it became a curse onto them. So anything that you have, whether you stole it physically, spiritually, energetically, God already cursed you because there's a curse that has been set out on the land to thieves and there's a curse in the house of the thieves and i'm gonna go to god's word to prove this to you and the things also more things that he wants me to disclose to you about thieves so the title of this is the thief and the adulterer cursed already and un understand not reproof so this is the first part of the thief so the thief and the adulterer got as they steal something and as they commit adultery they're already cursed and they have no understanding and they don't understand reproof they don't understand god reproof like reproof is punishment reproving someone right so as soon as they commit adultery as soon as they steal something the curse is already on them and they don't understand why things are happening to them but God put a curse on them. They go to all kind of people to find out why things are happening bad in their life. Shouldn't the people seek on to their God? Well, they have to know once you're a thief and once you're an adulterer, a curse is already on you. Okay, and we're going to furthermore prove this. And I'm just going to read the scriptures God wants me to read to you and to explain all the things he wants me to explain to you about the thief and the adulterer but this part is just about the thief so i'm going to explain about the thief the punishments of a thief and that god's presence is away from you as long as you have that stolen thing whatever you stole physically spiritually energetically whatsoever you stole god's presence is away from you because you have an accursed thing now let's get into it i just wanted to break it down before i get into it and prove everything that i'm saying through the word of god okay now 1 peter 4 and 15 but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other man's business now jeremiah 7 and 9 this is what god is asking you will you steal murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and burn incense unto Baal and walk after other gods whom you know not and come and stand before me in this house which is called by my name and say we are delivered to do all these things so god asked you if you think you're delivered to steal commit adultery and swear falsely that and you know in the new testament it says he tells you has this house become a den of robbers a den of thieves so you're not delivered to do all these things because as you steal or you commit adultery or you swear falsely by God's name there's a curse on you nobody didn't have to say you reap what you sow God already cursed you is this house which is called by my name become a den of robbers in your eyes behold even I have seen it says the Lord so God has seen your thievery God has seen your adultery, and God has seen when you, you bear false witness against his name. Then he says, But go ye now unto my place, which was in Shiloh, which I set my name at the first, and see what I did to it for the wickedness of my, peop of my people Israel. So what did God do? He, he, he punished the children of Israel for stealing for committing adultery and for bearing false witness of his name and he told you to go look and see what he did now 
Ezekiel 20 and 33, As I live, says the Lord God, Surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury purred out, will I rule over you. So, Isaiah 1 and 23, The princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone loves gifts and follows after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither does the cause of the widow come unto them. Psalms 50 and 18, When thou sawest a thief, then thou contents, consents with him, and has been partaker with adulterers. Now, Proverbs 29 and 24, Whosoever is partner with a thief hates his own soul. He hears cursing and berates it not. Why does it say when he who partners with a thief hates their own soul? Because there's a curse on the thief. Now, what is this curse that's on the thief? Zechariah 5 and 3. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And every one that swears shall be cut off as one on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. So there's a curse on the thief, and there's a curse in the house of the thief. That God put it there. Nobody didn't have to do no witchcraft. Nobody didn't have to pray to God about it. This is what God does instantly, automatically, if somebody steals something. They're cut. There's a curse that is already sent out on the whole earth for anybody who steals. And the, the curse God also sends into their house. So I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swears falsely by my name. So those who are a thief and swear falsely by, by God's name, a curse is already in their house. And it shall remain, it shall remain in the midst of this ho his house, his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the, and the stones thereof. So that curse will stay in that person's house if they have a curse things and if they swore falsely by God's name, if they didn't repent. But here's the thing about the thief. If you have something that you stole still, that curse still remains here in your house because it's an accursed thing. We're going to go into the accursed thing right here and I'm going to prove it to you because this is what God wants you to know. He turns his face from you and he's and his presence when you have stolen goods when you have anything that's stolen all right so even when you repent if you still have it then god still never forgave you because he told you what to do if you steal something you had to give it back are that curse will remain on you and that curse will remain in your house now then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, Lift up now thy eyes and see what is what is this that goes forth. That's the curse God sent forth on the earth to he who steals and he who bears false witness by his name. And I said, What is this? And he said, This is an effin that goes forth, he said. Moreover, this is their resemblance throughout all the earth. And behold, there was lifted up a talon of lead, and this is a woman that sits in the midst of the effin. And he said, This is wickedness. And he cast it into the midst of the effin, and he cast the weight of the lead upon the mouth thereof. Then lifted I up my eyes and looked, and behold, there came out two women, and the wind was in their wings, for they had wings like the wings of a stork, and they lifted up the effin between the heaven and earth. Then said I to the angel that talked with me, Whether do these bear the effin? And he said unto me, To build it a house in the land of Shinar, and it shall be established and set there upon her own base. Now, we got to go to this accursed thing in people's, if they're a thief, because it's from the Old Testament. Let's start here with Joshua 7 and 11. Israel had sinned. And they had also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them. For they have even taken of the accursed thing, and have also stolen and dissembled also, 
and they have put it even among their own stuff. So it's an accursed thing. God will not be around you if you have an accursed thing. Joshua 6 and 18. Stolen goods is an accursed thing. You have a curse on you. You have a cursed thing. Anything that's not yours is a curse. And he and ye in any wise keep yourself from the accursed thing, lest you make yourself a curse. So if you stole something that is an accursed thing, and he told you to get it away from you, or you make your own self a curse, the curse is on you. When you take of the accursed thing and make the camp of Israel a curse and trouble it, Joshua 7 and 13, up, sanctify the people, sanctify your house, sanctify yourself and get those cursed things away from you and say, sanctify yourselves against tomorrow. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, there is an accursed thing in the midst of thee, O Israel. Thou cannot stand before thy enemies until you take away that accursed thing from among you. So what? You can't stand before your enemies if you have stolen goods. Joshua 7 and 1. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. They had something that didn't belong to them. And the the sons of Zabi, the sons of Zerah, the tribe of Judah took of the accursed thing, took what wasn't theirs. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. Just like the anger of the Lord is kindled against you once you have an accursed thing and God's presence is not around you. You need to take away the accursed thing from around you so God's presence can be among you. If not, your repentance is not accepted. Now, Joshua 7 and 12. Therefore, the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies because they were accursed. They had an accursed thing. Neither will I be with you anymore. God will not be in your presence anymore if you have stolen things, except you destroy the accursed thing from... <coughs> Forgive me. Neither will I be with you anymore, except you destroy the accursed thing from among you. Now, what does God tell you if if you stole something? You got to give it back. We're going to get there. And I will curse your blessings. Yeah, I have cursed them already because you lay it not to heart. Jeremiah 23 and 39. Therefore, behold, I even I will utterly forget you. Why? Because you have an accursed thing. And I will forsake you and that city that I gave you and your fathers and cast you out of my presence. Why will God cast you out of his presence? If you have an accursed thing, if you swear falsely by his name, and if you commit adultery. And I will bring an everlasting reproach among you, upon you. That's to the thief, the adulterer, and those who swear falsely by God's name, and a perpetual shame which thou shalt not be forgotten. What does God tell you if you stole something? Proverbs 60 and 30. Men, do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. The only time someone's supposed to steal and not be despised if they were stealing to eat something. If they were hungry. These people who are stealing, it's not because they were hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore seven folds. He shall give all the substance of his house. So if you stole something from somebody, you got to return that seven folds. Even the whole substance of your house. Now... Exodus 22 and 2. If a thief be found breaking up and he be smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. So if somebody is breaking into a house, breaking into a business, breaking into thief somewhere, and they end up dying, well, they, no blood shall be shed for that person. Don't suffer yourself to be a thief. 
If the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him. That means he had, he had light in him. For he should make full restitution. If he have nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. Now, Exodus 22 and 4. If the thief be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be ox or, or sheep, he shall restore double. So if somebody is caught with something that does not belong to them, they have to restore double. And if they be found out that they stole, if someone finds out that that person stole from them, they had to return it seven fools. So this is why God's presence is not among some people when they're praying and asking God for forgiveness because they still have an accursed thing around them. Micah 4 and 12. But they know not the thoughts of the Lord, neither understand they his counsel. For he shall gather them as the sheaves into the floor. They don't understand God's word. Proverbs 28 and 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Isaiah 28 and 13. But the the word of the Lord was unto them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little, that they may go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. Why? Because as most people don't know that there's a curse in the house of the thief. There's a curse on to the on the thief. And if they don't restore what they stole, then that curse is still on them. It's in the, it's on them and it's in their house. And anybody who partners with a thief, they're cursed as well. It Anyone who partners with a thief, they hate their own soul. Because that person is cursed. And being around that person, you're cursed. That's why. Reproof. Proverbs 1 and 25, but you set at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. Proverbs 29 and 15, the rod and reproof give wisdom. Okay, you need to understand reproof. Proverbs 1 and 30, they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. That is why they don't understand about the curse on the thief. Don't you see how much people keep stealing and think that they're getting ahead by stealing? Whole time there's a curse on them. Whole time there's a curse in their house. Whole time anybody who partners with them is cursed. Then the last they're going to say in Proverbs 5 and 12 and say, How have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof? Proverbs 12 and 1. Whosoever loves instruction loves knowledge, but he that hates reproof is brutish. Proverbs 10 and 17. He is in the way of life that keeps instruction, but he that refuse, refuses reproof errs. He that refuses instruction despises his own soul. But he that hears reproof gets understanding. Did they get the understanding to know that the accursed thing is among them? And that their enemies will be able to destroy them because they have a stolen thing? And that God's presence will be, God will not be around them for their accursed thing? And they had to get that accursed thing from, from among them? It doesn't belong to them. What God's anger was kindled against the children of Israel for taking what it was not theirs, and they be, they became a curse. And if you have something that's not yours, nobody doesn't have to curse you. You cursed yourself, and and you don't know in which how God cursed you, and you never seek God to ask Him, Father, why are these things happening to me in my life? What did I do? 
and he'll tell you how he's how that curse that he put on you is playing out in your life because you you stole something and you have that something that does not belong to you and this is what he wanted me to explain to you about the thief and we're gonna go into the adulterer but I don't want to make this video too long so this is about the thief you, you understand the who the what the, the how and the why why things happen and what the, the thief is supposed to do return double full what they stole or return seven full what they stole in all the substance of their house and that God's presence is not among them and their repentance is not accepted until they remove what they stole from among them and give it back to who it belongs to. Stay blessed, beautiful people, and there will be a part two because I have to explain the adulterer because the curse of the adulterer is they have no understanding.